Trump demands Republicans vote on health care Friday or Obamacare stays. U.S. President Donald Trump and House of Representatives leaders pushed on Wednesday for votes for their plan to overhaul Obamacare and said they were making progress in their efforts to win over conservative Republicans who have demanded changes to the legislation. With a vote on the bill possible as soon as Thursday, members of the House Freedom Caucus, a conservative Republican faction, said they had been negotiating alterations to the plan with the White House. Much of the discussion hinged on conservatives' desire to scrap what are labeled essential health benefits, services that insurance plans are required to cover under the Affordable Care Act, commonly called Obamacare, such as mental health help. I can tell you that we're making great progress, Mark Meadows, chairman of the hardline conservative House Freedom Caucus, told reporters. We're not there yet. But we're hopeful. But while the president courted conservatives, the bill appeared to be losing traction among Republican moderates, some of whom attended a meeting late Wednesday in House Speaker Paul Ryan's office. Rep. Charlie Dent, a leader of the Tuesday group of House Republican moderates, issued a statement saying he could not back the bill. I believe this bill, in its current form, will lead to the loss of coverage and make insurance unaffordable for too many Americans, particularly for low to moderate income and older individuals, Dent said in the statement. The chairman of the House Rules Committee, which met all day Wednesday to set the rules for the bill's consideration on the House floor, said late on Wednesday that the panel would resume its meeting on Thursday, having made no definite decision on the timing of the floor vote. Repealing and replacing Democratic former President Barack Obama's 2010 Affordable Care Act is a first major test of Trump's legislative ability and whether he can keep his big promises to business. White House spokeswoman Sarah Sanders also gave signs negotiations were making headway late on Wednesday. We are continuing to move forward and adding new supporters constantly, she said. As we have indicated previously we are open to changes to the bill that make it better and grow its support. The primary aim of Obama's signature legislation passed in 2010, was reducing the numbers of Americans with no health coverage. 20 million people gained insurance under the law. The nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office estimated 14 million people would lose coverage under the Republican plan by next year. It also said 24 million fewer people would be insured by 2026. The Republican plan would also rescind taxes created by Obamacare, repeal penalties for not buying coverage, slash funding for the Medicaid program for the poor, and modify subsidies that help individuals buy plans. I